should a simple proxy application use the ports and adapters architecture? I found this question on Reddit and I loved it and I wanted to take some time to talk about it because I really like the ports and adapters architecture, also known as hexagonal architecture. And I have the feeling that this question has a lot of small lessons inside that we can discuss it. So let's see what is here. According to the author, they are looking for uh, an application that will act as a proxy. So it needs to build a proxy application on uh, his job in his organization that will receive the user input through an HTTP request. So it's an API and then will forward the input as it is to an external API. Then we return the external API response to the user. So it's quite simple. Just an API gets a request from the user, forwards the request to the external API, gets response back, sends the response back to the user. So it says that they just log things, they do no transformations, just that. So the only thing is logging. Then it says one interesting thing, that why they are doing this, because it was a top down decision and there's a lot of things to it with a small comment like this but we'll get back to here in a moment the thing is they are telling us that we need to do this as ports and adapters hexagonal and he basically keeps going asking if it makes sense to do such a thing so from this first paragraph we can already talk about a lot of stuff so the first thing is according to the user, to the uh, author of this question, someone is asking to, to build this proxy um, and these proxies should be done using ports and adapters. And it basically asks, should we? Okay, we can see by the end. So from his understanding of ports and adapters, the goal is to isolate the business logic from implementations, but they don't have uh, business logic so they just forward stuff so it looks like they are over complicating things and he's asking what everyone thinks about it so the first thing that we can think about is why are they building this tank there's already solutions in the market that can uh, do this proxy thing so you can already find tools that will do basically this so the, you put them in the middle and you say please route this request to somewhere you can find open source gateways that will do that for you you just need to configure that so it looks like there's um, a grand plan that this person is not aware of and this type of discourse that we can find here where it says that it is um, top down decision that they are telling us it looks like someone took this decision because they are planning something ahead and this person is not familiar with so what's wrong here is that instead of coming to online or to reddit and asking for the community to support them in the that they should not do things in this way the first question is asking to those that are asking to do things in this way, why? Because often there's a reason for someone asking to do things in the following way. I will not say that sometimes at organizations, some of these decisions are basically the default way of doing business and there's no good reason for doing them. But that would be the first question that I would ask and then, if I want to come here asking for someone to support my opinions, I will also bring the reasoning why they are telling to do things with ports and adapters. But now let's ignore the fact that they are building a proxy when they could use a, an open source solution, for example, for that. So if they want to build a proxy, in fact, we'll have a box that will get a request and we'll forward exactly that request to a different place and send the response back. Do we implement this thing with hexagonal or not? As the author says, ports and adapters 
is mainly about isolating the business logic. But now it's important to think about why it's about that. So if you think about it, hexagonal is the idea that in the center, you have your core application. You have the important parts of your application. On the outside, you will have small adapters. That's why it comes to the IV of ports and adapters. And this will allow you to do two important things. One is to be independent on the thing that you are adapting to. For example, imagine that this is a database and this is HTTP, okay? Or for example, in this case, this is one API, this is the HTTP protocol. So you want to be independent on that. That means that if you want to replace that, for example, you want to replace that uh, API with another one, you just need to uh, re-implement or replace this adapter. That's the idea. And the other big advantage of this approach is testability. Because once you can do things this way, that means that now your tests can act as the following. You can test directly to the logic, and you can inject here a test double, for example, a mock, to simulate those adapters. So all the logic that in theory would be inside of this box here, all the logic that you will have here, um, can be easily tested. The thing is, in this use case, you don't have logic. It's just forwarding things. The only thing that you could, in fact, assert is that you are forwarding things in the correct way, you are not changing anything, and that you are locking. So, in fact, it looks like that there's a grand plan to replace this thing with another thing or do something different like scaling this to have, for example, configuration. And uh, based on the configuration, we can uh, decide the service where we want to forward the request. There's many possibilities. But it's one of those cases where it's not clear if the um, hexagonal will be the ideal for it or not, because we don't know the next steps. If we came to the conclusion that when they say that they want to build it with um, ports and adapters, there's no good reason for that, just because, then I would agree with um, the author. So, in fact, don't need to start thinking about uh, hexagonal in that way. But it's also important to say that hexagonal is more simple than we think. If we consider that what they are looking for um, but no good reason for asking for ports and adapters. Is the other correct saying that we are overcomplicating things? I think that the answer is um, yes and no. It's yes in the sense that if we only want to forward things for a given uh, to a given place, just because. And on that case, we could simply build an API when we get a request on the handler of that request we'll call directly the other API. We don't need to do anything else besides that. If you want to test it, you can bring something like a mock server and you can test it as well. But also, we can think about ports and adapters as something a bit more simpler than most tend to think. Because, in fact, the idea of ports and adapters is basically an uh, inversion of control. Because if you think about it, when you build something with ports and adapters, you have your code, that will be the logic, and you will inject into there the dependency that you want to use. This allows you to replace that dependency. So now when you think about it, just a matter that the handler will receive the adapter to the API through injection. So it's not a big deal, to be honest. So to summarize, the problem here in this question is the fact that we don't know if that's a grand plan for this service or not. That's why we don't know why they are not using something like an open source solution for that. That's why we don't know why they are asking for um, ports and adapters or not. There's a good reason for that. We don't know. But based on the data that we have, ignoring the fact that we don't know that, is it uh, ports and adapters 
hexagonal architecture a good solution for something as simple as this? The answer is, if you don't overthink it, it is. Because in fact, the thing that you are looking for is for that abstraction of the adapter. And once you start thinking about inversion of control, using something like dependency injection, you will have that. But now I would love to hear your opinion. So go to the comments and let me know what you think about this. And if you like this type of video, where I pick something like a question on Reddit, and I come here and I think about it with you. And if you like this one, I think you will like this one as well.